All right, good afternoon. Again, God has put a scripture in my heart that I thought I might share with you. It does not deviate from the one I've just posted, so please watch my last video concerning the word or what God is currently saying concerning faith in this time and through, the, through this turmoil that we're currently facing on this earth right now as, as a human being, as humankind. But this is the scripture that God put in my heart, so I just thought I should share with you. James chapter 1, verse 17. And also, I'll follow on from 22, but from verse 17, it says, Every good, remember God is good. Even Jesus says that no one is, no one is good but God. And let's just start with that. Every good and perfect gift is from above. The fact that God is watching over us, it means that he has good intentions for us. Remember the scripture about the, the, know the plans that I have for you, to prosper you, to so on and so forth in Jeremiah. So God has a will for you, and his will for you is to be prosperous. And you just need to take that into consideration within this time that's happening around us right now. Is this something that God wants you to, to bring harm to you? Or does he want you to navigate it through faith and that you actually come out of it somehow or another? And I think that's where we need to go to. But I won't establish that for you. That's something you, that's a way you need to establish in yourself to say, what, what does God want you to do in this situation? Nevertheless, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. We are lights. We are lights. We are lights. We're the image and likeness of God. And this scripture, even though it doesn't specifically say or move towards that revelation, the Father of lights with whom there is no change or shifting shadow. We are like God. Remember, I spoke about that with the image and likeness of God. Um, we are lights. So when it says that the Father of the heavenly lights, that also does include you. That does include you. Even though, as I said, the, spirit, the scriptures does not necessarily specify that. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we would be a kind of first fruits of his creation. Once again, remember that God made us after his image and in his likeness. To look like him, to be like him, to function as him. That's one of the things that I posted earlier and to say that we are like God, we function as God, we're in his image and after his likeness. So please do keep considering that. But also that word on lights, please do also focus on the word I released that concerning lights, that we are the lights of the world and we are like the image who God himself put inside of us to say that we look like him. And one of the things that God is described to say his light and his love which means that we also reflect that we are light, we are also love, because we are like our Father in the Spirit. And we're going to 22, verse 22. Be doers of the word and not just hearers. The faith that, you has built, that God has built up in you throughout your journey as a Christian, that faith needs to be put to test, and that faith you need to succeed according to the word of faith God has put inside of you. God has put a measure of faith inside of you and he needs you to use that in this time. Otherwise, you're deceiving yourself. So anyone who hears the word but does not carry it out is like a man who looks at the looks at the face in the mirror and after observing himself goes away and immediately forgets what it looks like. Once again, speak about the word on the image and likeness of God. We are like him. Obviously, this speaks about righteousness and not in our sinning and that, that the word that we've received now means that we need to go to the revelation to say that we are not supposed to be now going back to the old image or to the old creation. We are now, all things have been made new, all things have passed, all things have passed away, all things have made new. So this is now just to say that we need to move towards now that new creation. But I also want to use this to say that we who are the image of the likeness of God, the reason why we fell into sin in to begin with is that we actually moved away from what God had put inside of us. So you need to now, for anyone who hears but does not do is when he looks at the face in the mirror and after observing himself that goes away and immediately forgets what it looks like. This looks like now I want to bring it back to say you look like God, you are the image of God, which means that you are the righteousness of God, you're the light of God, you're the love of God. You're supposed to look at God and he's supposed to give you a revelation of what you're supposed to do next. Remember even Jesus always used to say that I thank you Father for you have heard you have heard me when you prayed. That's the first thing that when you speak to God, he answers and he hears you. And the second part, you always say that I do what I've seen my father doing, which means he looks at his father and he does what his father was doing. That's why it is easy for Jesus to say that I am like God or I am God. In the beginning was the word, the word was his God. He recognized himself as being God. And that's something you need to now also start to do, knowing that you are the image of God, you're the likeness of God. In this period of time, understand that who you are in God. Understand that you are protected because you are God's child. In my last video, I mentioned that you are a child of God 
and he has a will for you. He has a good plan for you. So just understand that whatever's happening around you, remain in the word and remain in your faith. Be blessed.